and in your worship. All right, you can open your eyes now. That desk in front of you, do not let it stop you. Because sometimes we want to hide behind it and think, well, I can't move here. Well, then we're going to go over here or we're going to go over there. And we're going to have freedom and liberty. We're going to celebrate what God has done. And we're going to celebrate who He is. That means we must lose every inhibition. We must set aside our culture. Our blackness and our whiteness and our redness. And we become worshippers. We're not going to worship. We become worshippers. That worship in spirit and in reality. We're going to open our mouths and we're going to declare. And out of our time of worship, our time of celebration, is going to come forth declaration and decree. Amen. You're going to feel it awaken on the inside of you and begin to rise up like a volcano wants to come out. Mm. And then we're going to be obedient to release it. Yes. Because it's going to come out of worship. Yes. It's not going to be our revelation. Uh -huh. It's not going to be our opportunity to say what we think. But we're going to allow the Spirit to flow through us like a hose pipe lets water flow through. You know, a hose pipe can be rusty, but the water can be good. So God doesn't disqualify him from being the release that he purposes. But we want it to be born out of the place of worship. Where we're in his presence. And that's what counts. That's what matters. Nothing else matters. But his presence. And we go to keep our mind focused on him with the understanding that we are standing for the continent of Africa. Yeah. Yeah. We have a tithe of the nations of Africa with us. It's 54 countries in Africa. And we've got five nations of Africa represented. Wow. I don't think it's coincidental. Yeah. Yeah. We, we should have had eight or ten. But we have a tithe. And we want to speak into the nations. So wait on the Lord for a specific nation that you want to declare and decree into. It could be the nation that you come from, that's fine. It could be the nation in which we stand. Every one of our nations in Africa need a word of the Lord to be released over yes. them. Yes. I remind South Africa mm. that God has made promise to you. Mm. Do not be moved and swayed and turned upside down because of what you see and feel and hear. That's right. That's right. Yes. Mm. Hold fast to the word of promise. Yes. The word that God has released. Do not let go of it because the winds are blowing opposite or the, the, the media, the politics sounding different to it. Hold fast to the word of promise and remind the atmosphere, remind heaven and earth of the word of promise that has been released yes. to South Africa. Yes. There will be a light to the nations. Yes. Amen. 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 I just remind South Africa of that. I know that Nigeria has word concerning it. But Nigeria is in a mess. Uh -huh. But the church is not dead. Amen. Yes. The church is alive. Yes. Amen. And the church has been given voice. Amen. And we need to use our voice. Because that's how we govern and rule. We are not going to overthrow the nations by the sword. Yeah. Hello? Yes. But we are going to influence them by the word that we release. Hence, yes. the, the governmental power 
power of yes. decree. Yes. To bind and to loose. Yes. To permit or to deny. Yes. With the elections that are coming up in just about every nation in Africa, mm. we don't have to wait on the vote. No. Mm. That's right. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. I, I, want, I don't want it to sound wrong, but we can manipulate it. Oh. By speaking into the atmosphere. Yes. Truth. Yes. And just like rain comes to saturate the earth, and it doesn't matter where you are, you can't escape getting wet. Yeah. Yeah. So the declaration of God into the atmosphere becomes the rain that no one can escape getting wet from. Right. It means they can go to the pole with an idea to, to tick or to circle one thing. And they do another thing. Oh, come on, you got not quiet on me yeah. now. See, either we're going to be apostolically prophetic, or we're going to be apostolically pathetic. Uh, and I refuse to be that. Yes. yes. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. You are the powerhouse of God Amen. on the earth. Yes. There is no institution on planet earth more powerful than the church of Come Jesus Christ. Yeah. We change nations, yeah. governments, yeah. Man, weather. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. You can stop a tornado. Yeah. Yes. You can divert a hurricane. Yes. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hello. Jesus gave us the, the example. Hello. Yes. You see, either you believe you can, or you believe you can't. I can. Well, there's two of us. <laughs> there's another one. I can. The church, God gave voice to, to govern with. Hallelujah. Amen. So are you ready? Yes. yes. I want you to put your dancing shoes on. <laughs> I want you to get a clap in your hands and ripping in your feet and whatever else we need. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's stand to our feet. And uh, we start with the song of Brian. Uh, Father Ray, to come and help us. Oh, my God. The song? You've got a song to the earth. You can be caught. Yes, you can. You've got a song in your way. You're going to be grateful. Uh, yeah. You've got the hands ready. Now, if you know how conservative yeah. Anne is,
43. And Jesus said to them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also. For I was sent for this purpose. Amen. Jesus. What was the purpose Jesus came for? Of course, we know to destroy the works of the devil. We know that scripture well. But how did you know this scripture well? He said, I came for this purpose to preach the gospel of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And for that purpose, he set for us a pattern. He sent the 70 out, or the 72. And now he sends you and me. Yes. With the same purpose. Yes. Yes. You see, his purpose becomes our oh, destiny. Oh, oh, oh. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we awaken ourselves in the spirit oh, and down. stir ourselves up, oh, yes. I say, come Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes.
justice prevail. Let your judgments come. Let your church be strengthened and awaken to destiny. For we are your people, called by your name. We have no king but Christ Jesus. We have no culture but the culture of heaven. We submit our families, large and great. We submit our communities and our cities to the Lord.
Africa. Yes, from the north to the south. Yes. East to the west. Yes. If you have a word, have a prayer, have a declaration that comes. Let's make it together. Have I not spoken to you, O oh Africa? Have I not called you by name? Yes. Have I not given you riches when those who say you are poor? Uh, have I not given you blessings when those have said you are cursed? Yeah. Have I not said you walk in the way, learn the way, and walk in it? Have I not spoken to you, O oh Africa? Now is your time, O oh Africa. Now is your time to rise up, to re show the revelation of, to unveil the green formation of my one holy apostolic church. I've called you, no, don't look past. Uh, 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 don't look past, don't look behind as if I'm calling someone else. I'm calling you. Yes, yes. I do not hurt. I call you by name. I've given you family. I've given you my faith, the faith of God. Rise up and be obedient. For I do wonder with small beginnings. I make that which is little great and much. Heed to my voice, my call. And rise up as the people for the sake of the redemption of the world through Christ Jesus. Rise up and be counted. That which people of the world say you're nothing. When in fact, in Christ Jesus you're everything. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen to the word of the Lord and obey. Amen. Amen. Say no longer that I am of no consequence or that I do not qualify. Say no longer I was born in the wrong household yeah. on the wrong side of the street. Yeah. Say no longer yeah. my skin is too dark. Say no longer that you are poor and insufficient. Yeah. For I have become your sufficiency, yeah. says the Lord. And I will become your foreguard and your rear guard. Amen. And I'll watch over you on the left and on the right. But go forth in the power of my name and in the word of my commands. And I will surely do a thing in your day that you would not believe. Amen. Hallelujah. He's speaking to you. He's speaking to you. Receive it. Stop scrambling for looking for what the answer is, and I have not given to you yet, says the Lord. You must walk forth. You must go forth. I have already paved the way. All throughout Scripture, I have shown that I paved the way. I make the way for those who are obedient, for those who step forth, for those who grab hold of my word and walk forth. I did it for David. I did it for Gideon. Yes. I did it for his yes. I do it for you. I have Yes. Stop scrambling with your programs. Yes. Stop scrambling with your best ideas. Yes. You cannot do it with your own strength. Yes. I have already made the way. I have gone to hell and back. I know I have taken the keys, says the Lord. I have taken the keys. Yes. I have you, Africa, in a special place, in a place of grace and truth. You must go forth in faith. Stop holding on to the traditions that mean nothing, the empty idols, the offers you build about things that you can wholly control. Let them go. The only altar is the altar to the Lord. That is in your Let Africa say amen. 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 See, either you believe it and receive it, or you say it for another one. We're not prophesying to you, but rather through you to your nation. Yes. Yeah. Say, I receive it. I receive it. As, as a servant of God. As a servant of God. I'll go forth. I'll go forth. In boldness. Courageously, Courageously, without compromise. Without I'm a messenger. I'm a messenger. Father, I'm your steward. I'm a steward of your grace. A steward of your word. And I will be accurate with it. I will be accurate with it. Grant me your servant. Grant me your servant. Boldness. Boldness. In this day. In this day. Hallelujah. Amen.
Zambia. Yes. I'll change South Africa. Yes. I'll change Nigeria. Yes. I'll change New Guinea. Kenya. Kenya. I'll change it. Good. See, it's not you. Does the host pipe get glory for the flowers growing? Uh, because it allowed water to water the flower? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He doesn't care if you're a long host pipe or a short one. Yeah. Yeah. If you're green, brown, purple, he doesn't care. Uh -huh. But if you let it flow through you, he'll bring about a change. Yeah. That is supernatural. Yeah. Yes. But you've got to believe, say, God, I believe I'm the man. Yeah. I think I'm the man. I'm the man.
time next year, a new team will be emerged in Ghana. Yeah. 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 Jesus. We declare upon them that they will not try again. They shall live again. They shall live again. They shall live again. All that the enemy has taken away from them, they shall return a hundredfold. We just want to declare that the seed sown in the African soil will not miscarry. Yes. There will be no miscarriage, no miscarriage. on the African continent. But God is repositioning sons and daughters of God in Africa. Yes. And beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, these dispersed ones will bring forth their offering in the season. Yes. There is a reordering, a restructuring, a, re a reformation in the African continent. And I saw it like a, a Rubicon, that God is bringing order. That those colors are gonna, the whites are gonna be white, and the yellow is gonna be yellow, yes. and the green is gonna be green yes. because of the kingdom of God, the yes. kingdom yes. government of God yes. that will be established in her midst. Yes. For out of Africa will arise Joseph, and will arise Daniel, yes. and they shall bring uh, the word and the will of the Father to the nations of the earth. Yes. So it is Africa's time. The pendulum is shifting, and I speak to Rwanda from this place, and I declare that Rwanda shall lead in the African continent. She will arise because this is her time. And even as she celebrates 30 years of, 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 of healing and reconciliation, she will become the voice of peacemaking, and she will become the voice of arbitration, and she will become the voice of mediation in the African continent. And she, and she shall also rise up uh, with the gospel of the kingdom and impact the nation and the regions that are surrounding her. A revival is breaking forth from Rwanda. A revival that is going to be unprecedented. A revival of the kingdom message. A revival of the spirit and the word. And we will see it manifest in kingdom governance and in the government of Rwanda. We will see the, the statesmen arise. Not men arise, but statesmen of nobility arise in Rwanda. So we declare from this vocation, location, let Rwanda arise right now. In the name of Jesus, we declare to South Sudan, being the, the newest uh, democracy in the African continent, that you will not be that you will not be contaminated with civil war. But your your time has come for redemption, and your time has come for reconciliation. And that which the enemy is meaning for evil, God will turn for good, as the standard will be raised in South Sudan. We will raise South Sudan. Come on, wherever you are. Jesus Christ. 
Christ's name. Father, I declare that the sons of God in North Korea are rising. They will stand shoulder to shoulder. They will not break rank. They will stand in stature. They will stand with the peace of the gospel being shot upon their feet so that they can be deployed as emissaries, as ambassadors of change, as reformers in the land, Father. We declare this as done in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 you that we are one body the body of the Lord Jesus as word comes you must put your vote to it yes. with your mouth yes just listening to it means one man's prophesying That's right. your yes and amen, amen means the body is prophesying yes. Yes. so I'm watching while brothers are coming in and sharing and you are sitting there listening intently. But you don't say Amen. You don't say yes, let it be so long. You just... A silent witness is no witness. A silent testimony is no testimony. Amen? Yeah. So we, we need to we need to put ourselves into practice yeah. to say yes and amen yeah. to the word. Yeah. So that we start becoming one voice, yeah. not a single voice with many listeners. Yeah. We need to become one voice yeah. in the, the declaration and a decree of release. Yeah. That's where the power lies. Yeah. Amen. So yeah. please receive them yeah. as, as an encouragement. Yeah. We are not hearers, no. we are doers. Yeah. You, you pick up in the spirit some of the stuff that's been released is so powerful yes. so powerful yeah. we are we are calling dead to life yes. Yes. we are calling disorder to order yes. we're calling chaos to righteousness and governance yes. but it, it takes the whole church yes. it takes the whole church yes. amen yes. so when you stood with your wife or your husband at the altar, they said, do you take this one to be your wedding? And you just stood there. <laughs> then you weren't wedded. You need to say, I do. I, do. I agree. I, I believe. I, I receive. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else you had something stirring in you for the declaration of the creator? Hallelujah. I'm so reminded this evening about how the favor of God was in Africa. From the when, from the beginning. When, when Mary and Joseph fled, they came to Egypt. Amen. That's right. When there was a man they looked for to carry the cross, it was Simeon. Yes. Man from Africa. Yes. And I bring God, He brings this to our members because we know that the favor of God is on, on the continent of Africa. Amen. And Lord, tonight I remember, Father, the word and the prophecy Jesus. that went out yes. over Africa, yes. South yes. Africa. Yes. Yes. And Lord, we put that in remembrance of yes. God. Yes. Lord, there was a great prophecy many, many years ago that went out and a flame will come from yes. the of yes. And so, Father, I decree and declare that that flame will turn down in the spirit of religion. Yes.
stand and tell me we declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Rise and be healed yes. in the name of Jesus. Just let faith arise in your heart. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. He will touch you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke cancer. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke a hypertension. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke arthritis. In the name of Jesus, I reject and refuse mental degeneration. I pray for strength head to toe, every nerve, every fiber, every cell, every joint. Dry. 
almost as if they haven't had circulation before. And as this heartbeat was pumping, and as, it, as Africa was rising and rising and rising, I saw that blood started to pump, and I saw that there was, there was almost like clogged arteries, and it was a push and a push and a push, and the next thing you know, there was breakthrough. So I am holding Africa tonight, and I'm saying we have a responsibility that we
word humble is because I'd like to share a story with you. A couple of years ago, I had three near, near misses in life. And one of them, the major one being the shooting at St. James Church in Kemal came down. I was in the center of it. I am so grateful and say at what took place that I witnessed in front of me lives being lost, mine still being here. Yes. I thank God for that. Yes. So my cry out tonight is not for only healing, but for life. Yes. Each and every one here for your lives. We will pray for cousins, uncles, brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers. We will pray for their healing. We forget about our own lives, which is life. Yes. Because if you do not pray for your life and your well-being, you would not be able to stand here this evening yes. and pray for the relative, the friend, the cousin, whoever. And I humbly, humbly stand here and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are so good. You are so kind. I'd like to thank God as well to keep an international church in Cape Town. Please, God, I ask you for that strength. Give me that strength. Motivate me even greater to enhance the musical ministry. Father, for the feeding that's taking place there. Yes, Lord. Taking care of families. Little children, yes. so we thank you for those lives. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise you, Lord Jesus. I see with winds blowing across Africa. Yes. Winds are blowing contrary yes. 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 to your boat. Yes. You are in the boat, but the winds are coming. Against you, and Jesus is walking on that on that wind. Uh -huh. Jesus is riding on the wind yes. right now. Yes, Konakare. God is looking for a Peter who will step out of the boat and begin to walk yes. with Jesus. Yes. Jesus is looking for a Peter who will walk with Jesus across the boat and come into the into the ship today. Know that Jesus is walking. On your problems, yes. Jesus is working on your webs. Jesus is going to come into the the the, the, the boat and they will become. Yes. I speak calmness. I speak solutions. Judicial, the judicial uh, system of South Africa. Right. 
And we are praying that God will anoint her with righteousness. Yes. We are praying that God will anoint her with justice. Yes. We are praying that uh, from Isaiah, Isaiah 33, and this is pivotal, South Africans, this is pivotal to our transitions. Uh, Isaiah 33 verse 22 says, For the Lord is your judge. The Lord is your Lord. The Lord is our King. It is who, He who will save us. And we are praying that the judiciary will not be tainted. But it will remain uh, pure, it will, be, it will remain unadulterated yes. to issue the judgments of God yes. and issue the wisdom of God yes. for the preservation of the South African landscape. So yes. let's just pray for the judiciary right now, wherever you are. So Father, we stand in agreement and we, yes. we pray for the judicial system of South Africa. Father, I pray for Isaiah chapter 9 and of the increase of your government and of Shalom. There shall be no end. I pray that you pre preserve them, Father. I pray that you will preserve the judicial will, Father. It will not be tainted. It will remain, Lord, it will remain unbiased. It will remain pure. It will remain unadulterated, Father. And even in the contestation that may come out of the election, it may seem like a dark cloud. But I thank you, God, that there will be wisdom that will come. And grace that will come. And an anointing that will come. That anointing will break the yoke of body. It will break corruption. It will break, Lord, the, the systems, the strong man. It will break that captivity in the name of Jesus. Let it be done. Thank you, Father, for your grace upon the land. Anoint the land. Anoint the land, Lord. With that grace, in Jesus' name. Amen. When the church begins to pray and declare, things begin to happen. Do not make small the sound of your voice yes. into the atmosphere. Yes. They have airplanes that seed clouds for rain. Yes. Your voice seeds the atmosphere for righteousness yes. and for justice. Yes. We declare justice to prevail. Yes. In South Africa, we pray for the judiciary. Yes. We pray for justice and righteousness yes. for every nation in yes. Africa yes. that is in political turmoil, yes. that is political upheaval. Yes of corruption yes. in the name of Jesus yes. Christ yes. as the church yes. we say corruption yes. will be exposed yes. and darkness will give way to light yes. in Jesus name yes. hallelujah yes. hallelujah yes. hallelujah yes only for the nation's bride okay thank you Lord Jesus Christ is what Yes. And when we speak, we speak out of love. And we remember that people are not angry because they're not hurt. They are hurt. They are suffering. And when we move in the Spirit of God and we speak life into people, yes. then we change the lives of other people. Yes. 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 And we heal their bodies, and we yeah. give their lives, yes. and we give freedom. Yes. And it goes for everybody. Let love not be hypocritical. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Let our love not be hypocritical. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else? Praise the Lord. I don't know about you, but something was released in the atmosphere. Yes. By, by obedience. Your obedience. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Father, we commit ourselves, our families, our communities, yes. our spheres of influence. We commit ourselves to your keeping. Thank you for your grace. Yes. which passes our understanding. It's amazing. Mm. Your grace is amazing. Yes. And we thank you for that tonight. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. May the Amen. peace of God that passes understanding be your portion as you go to rest. Yes. Let the revelation, the word of the Spirit be stirred up in your spirit man yes. as you yes. close your eyes. Hallelujah. You awaken with Clearer understanding, better understanding. In Jesus' name. Pastor Randy, do you have something? Can I ask the kids to come? The children? 
and the youth. Can you come? I will show you the books in the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. And can we stand one more time and we're going to just pray for the young people, for the children? Yeah. Right now as we speak, some children are being trafficked in Africa, yeah. in Cape Town. Yeah. There's children being trafficked, there's children being abused, there's children getting hungry. And we're going to lift up our children for Jesus said that the kingdom of God yes. belongs to such as these yes. Yes. Can we just stretch out our hands yes. for them right now?